Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the matrix multiplication using Casio calculators. Let's get started. These are the matrix which I'm going to multiply. Here are the matrix A with 3 by 3, matrix B with 3 by 3. As we all know how to do the matrix in mathematical form. And here I'm going to show you how to do the matrix multiplication using calculator. And we have to store the elements matrix A and matrix B in calculator. For doing that, right now my calculator is in math mode. So we need to change it into matrix mode. For doing that, we have to click on mode. There is uh, sixth option here here is called matrix just click on that then our calculator is switched to matrix mode this is the necessary step we have to do and then click AC then as you can see here there is a option called MAT which stands for matrix now we are calculator in matrix mode next we have to store the elements matrix A and matrix B separately into the calculator okay for doing that we just click on shift uh, there is a fourth option above that is uh, written as matrix in uh, some calculator may have vary uh, you just click on 4 then we have to choose the dimension of the matrix because uh, we have a 3 by 3 matrix so we are just click on matrix dimension click on that uh, I am putting uh, the eighth matrix value on matrix A so I am clicking on matrix 1 that is matrix A okay my matrix is in 3 by 3 format so click on 1 now we are adding the elements here first element is 3 then just click on equal to sign which means I am storing the A 1 by 1 element is 3 repeated the step then minus 1 then 0 2 5 1 minus 7 1 and 3 I put the all the uh, matrix A elements here as you can see here okay uh, which means the each elements in the matrix will be stored in matrix A and then the same step will be repeated for matrix B let's do that okay for that click on AC then uh, repeat the same step shift fourth option dimension uh, earlier we stored the matrix in matrix A so here we have to choose different so we can use matrix B as well as matrix C whatever the option you want I'm clicking on here is uh, matrix B which means 2 I click on that uh, my matrix is also uh, in 3 by 3 form and click on 1 1 is 3 by 3 option then adding or putting the values here 6 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 2 3 minus 8 and 1 ok right now we store the both matrix A and matrix B elements here just next step is we just uh, want to multiply both of these matrix uh, this is quite simple actually uh, these are the necessary step you have to do then click on AC uh, for multiplication the same step we are re uh, repeating here shift so matrix here we are choosing matrix A and matrix B because uh, we store the elements in matrix A as well as matrix B so we are clicking 3 here 3 is a matrix A okay all the elements stored in matrix A is also recorded here also same step I want to just multiply it with matrix A and matrix B for that shift matrix then matrix B is the fourth option okay then here we are multiplying these two matrix okay multiplying matrix A and matrix B then click on equal to here is our answer 18 minus 4 2 15 minus 5 minus 9 minus 33 minus 16 1 these are the answers uh, for this matrix uh, thanks for watching and see you next time in next video